In a corner of Fondren Library reserved for the special, rare, and historic, a relatively new addition with centuries-old roots is making an impression at Woodson Research Center. The press is a replica of the press that William Blake used to print his materials in his studio back in London in the 18th century. Blake, unrecognized in his time, was an English poet, painter, and printmaker who's now widely known as a seminal figure in Romantic era poetry and visual art. Just like William Blake could print on his, you can print on ours, and it's a press that belongs to the whole of us. How many of these exist? One. This is the one. That's the only one. Master printmaker and Blake scholar Michael Phillips built the unique replica using reclaimed wood from the 1700s. He brought it to us last year in March 2023 and taught us how to use it. Something English chair Alexander Regier is now doing with his classes. My students are often surprised um, how small and delicate these prints are because quite often they see them projected on the screen. The students first create their own colors using period correct dry pigment mixed with linseed oil. We ink them, we dab the ink onto a, what's called a dauber, and then we pick up the plate that we're going to work with and we pat it on to the plate. It's a tedious process, one that requires precision. Once the plate, another Michael Phillips recreation, is thinly but completely coated, it's ready for the press. Learning and seeing how that is done in a different age and then also recreating it under the conditions, how hard it was and how, but how difficult, but also how beautiful it can be and how joyful it can be. I think those, um, those are some of the reasons that this make, makes it an exciting kind of process. Everybody's got their way of interacting with it, you know, and it's just fun because people, everybody gets something different out of it. Um, but people's faces, when they come over and pull, they see the, their image on their piece of paper from the plate that they inked. It's just delightful. Amanda Foki, the head of special collections at Fondren, wants to extend the experience to others on the Rice campus and beyond via an open studio on the fourth Friday of each month. We have the rare and unique things in this part of the library, but we're open to the public, same as the rest of the library, and we really want people to come and use the materials and spend time here. As does Regier. That is very satisfying to see, yes. It's very, it makes me happy. Who led the charge to bring the press to Rice from its previous home at Oxford University. It's connecting lots of different people which is another interesting thing about this object that seems so old in some way, even though it's just a replica. It connects people. It connects people all across the campus, but all across the globe too.